If you're looking for a free sun hat pattern, then you've come to the right place. I'm Little John Yarns, and I've created this detailed sun hat tutorial to get you ready for the summer. You can also download the written PDF. The link will be down in the description box below. The materials that we'll be using for this pattern are two skeins of worsted weight yarn. I'm using Red Heart Super Saver. You can also use cotton. We are using a 5mm and a 5.5mm crochet hook. An optional is floral wire. I'll show you what it looks like with and without floral wire because it's not necessary for this pattern. Here's what it looks like without the wire in the brim. And here's what it looks like with the wire in the brim. Using the two strands of worsted weight yarn together keeps the brim sturdy enough to stand on its own, but the wire gives it that extra flexibility. I always provide you with timestamps for easy navigation through this pattern, and if you stay tuned to the very end of the video, you can watch a short vlog on how I created this pattern. Today we're using two hooks, a 5mm crochet hook and a 5.5mm crochet hook with some worsted weight yarn. The gauge for this pattern is 4 DC rows equals 2 inches. Adjust your hook size to get the correct gauge. We're going to begin with a 5 millimeter crochet hook. We're going to begin by making a magic ring. We'll start by chaining 2. 1, 2. This stitch does not count as a stitch. We're going to place 12 double crochet into the ring. One, two, three, four. I'll meet you at the completion of your 12 double crochet. We've made it back around. We completed our 12 double crochets. You can pull your stitch to tighten up your circle. We are going to slip stitch to join into the very first double crochet. Not your chain 2 stitch, but the very top of your double crochet right here. Chain 2. 1, 2. We're going to place 2 double crochet into the very same stitch. One, two. We're going to place two double crochets in each stitch around. We'll do the next one together. One, place your second one into the same stitch. And two. Like I said, put two double crochets in each stitch around. You should have 24. I'll meet you back at the other side. We have made it back around. You should have 24 double crochets all the way around. So we are going to slip stitch to join into the very top of your double crochet. Not your chain stitch, but the top of your double crochet right here. Chain 2. 1, 2. We're going to place one double crochet into the very same space. We're going to place two double crochet into the next space. One, two. We're going to place one double crochet into the next. Two double crochets into the next space. One, two. We're going to repeat this sequence all the way around by placing one double crochet and two double crochets into the next stitch all the way around. I'll meet you back at the other side. We have made it, <clears throat> excuse me, we have made it back around. You should have a total of 36 stitches. And we're going to slip stitch to join into the very top of the last double crochet. Chain two. One, two. Double crochet into the very same space. double crochet into the next space. And now we're going to put two double crochets into the very next space. You'll notice it's the V space from the previous row. So put one and two into the same space. 
and let's repeat the sequence. We're going to place one double crochet into the next two stitches. One and your next stitch. Two. We're going to place two double crochets into the same stitch. One, two. I'm going to show you the sequence one more time. We're going to place one double crochet into the next two stitches. One, next stitch, two. Now we're going to place two double crochets into the very same stitch. You'll notice it's a V from the previous row. One, two. We're going to repeat this sequence all the way around by placing one double crochet into the next two stitches, followed by two double crochet into the same stitch all the way around. I'll meet you back at the other side. We have made it back around. You should have a total of 48 stitches. We are going to slip stitch to join into the very top of your double crochet. Chain 2. 1, 2. We're going to double crochet into the next three stitches. Well, including the same one. So double crochet into the same stitch. One. two and three. Now we're going to place two double crochets into the same stitch. You'll recognize you'll be working to the V from the previous row, the last increase. So place two into the same stitch. One, two. Now let's repeat the sequence. We're going to place one double crochet into the next three stitches. One, two, and three. We're going to place two double crochet into the same stitch from the increase from the previous row. One, into the same row, same stitch. Two. I'll show you the sequence one more time. We're going to place one double crochet into the next three stitches. One, two, and three. Now let's increase. We're going to place two double crochets into the very same space. One, two, Whoops, <laughs> that's enough there. <laughs> Almost went too many. All right, we're going to repeat this sequence all the way around by placing one double crochet into the next three stitches, then placing two double crochets into the same stitch. I'll meet you at the completion of this row. We've made it back around, and you should have a total of 60 stitches. And we're going to slip stitch to join into that very first double crochet. And we're going to chain two, one, two and we're going to double crochet into the very same space. We're going to continue placing double crochets in each stitch around. We're going to do this for a total of eight rows because we're all done increasing. So once again place one double crochet in each stitch all the way around for a total of eight rows. I'll meet you at the completion of your eight rows so pause your video here. Now that we're done with our additional rounds, we are going to move up to a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook and also make sure you have uh, a stitch marker because we're no longer slip stitching the join at the end of each row. We're just going to work in one continuous round. Also, we're going to be using two strands of yarn for the brim so it's nice and thick and, and can hold its shape. All right, so let's start by attaching the second strand of yarn. All right, we're going to begin by chaining one. And we are going to single crochet into the very same space. 
Remember, your chain one does not count as a stitch. And we're going to single crochet into the next um, three stitches. One, two, and three. You should have a total of four single crochet. And we're going to place two single crochet into the next. One, back into the same stitch, and two. All right, that is going to be our pattern repeat all the way around. Four single crochets into the next stitches. So I'll count with you. One, next stitch. Two, next stitch. Three, next stitch. And four. Now place two double crochet. I mean, sorry, got a little fuzz on my hat. And place two single crochet into the very next stitch. So one and back into the same stitch, two. All right, so that is gonna be our pattern repeat all the way across. So you're gonna place one single crochet into the next four stitches, followed by an increase. Oh, and let's not forget to place a stitch marker in our very first single crochet. I almost forgot. We'll place that there. So pause your video here, and I'll meet you when you make it back to the other side. All right, we've made it to your end of your row, and we're not going to slip stitch to join. We're going to continue working it around. We're just going to single crochet into the top of that very first single crochet. And make sure you remove your stitch marker and replace it in the stitch that you just made so you know the beginning and end of your rows. All right, this next row is going to be simple. You're just going to single crochet in every stitch all the way around until you make it back to your stitch marker. So pause your video here, continue placing single crochets all the way around, and I will meet you back when you make it to the stitch marker. All right, we made it to the end of this row, but I want you to take note that this is going to be the pattern repeat for each rows. So take note, it'll be a row of increase followed by a row of single crochet, followed by a row of increase. All right, for our next row, we're going to single crochet in the next five stitches, followed by an increase. So remove your stitch marker. Let's start our five single crochet. So this is one. Make sure you replace your uh, stitch marker so you know the beginning and end of your row. So that's one, two, three, four, five, followed by an increase. Two single crochet into the same stitch. One and two. Once again, you'll place one single crochet into the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, five, and place two single crochet into the next. That's going to be our pattern repeat all the way around until we make it back to this um, <laughs> stitch marker. So pause your video here. Okay, we've made it back to the stitch marker. And for this row, if you're following along to the pattern, this is row number 17. What you're going to do now, oh, I'm sorry, after this increase, you have a total of 84 stitches. All right, now for row uh, 17, we are going to place one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. So let's do the first single crochet. Remember, let's replace the stitch marker so we know the beginning and end of our row. And we're just going to single crochet in each stitch all the way around until you make it back to the other side. Because remember, like I said, take note, there'll be a row of increase and a row of just single crochets. So pause your video here and continue to place one single crochet in each stitch around until you make it to the other side. All right, we've made it back around. And if you're following along to the pattern, we are on round 18. So we are going to place one single crochet into the next six stitches. Remove your stitch marker. So let's count six stitches. One. Replace your stitch marker. Let's finish our six. Two. Three. 
four. five and six now we're going to place two single crochet into the next that's an increase one back into the same stitch and two and that is going to be our pattern repeat all the way around you're going to place one single crochet into the next six stitches one two three four five six increase into the next that's two single crochet into the same stitch. We're going to do that all the way around until you make it back to the other side. So pause your video here. We've made it back around and at the end of that round you should have a total of 96 stitches. And like before, we're going to place one single crochet in each stitch around for this row. So single crochet into that first stitch. Replace your marker. and single crochet in each stitch all the way around. So pause your video here, continue placing one stitch all the way around and I'll meet you back at the other side. Okay, we've made it back around and we're finally on round 20. So what we're going to do next is single crochet into the next seven. So this will be one for your new row. Replace the stitch marker I think you guys are getting the hang of these increases, so I'm not going to show you fully. So that will be one, and you're going to single crochet into seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and you're going to increase in that eighth stitch. So remember, place one single crochet into the next seven stitches, followed by increase all the way around until you make it back to the other side. So pause your video here, and I'll meet you when you make it back to your stitch marker. Okay, we've made it back around and we are completely done with our increases. So for the next six rows, we're going to place one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. As simple as that. And remember at the start of each row, you're going to replace, remove your previous, the stitch marker from your previous row and add it to your new row. So like I said, place one single crochet in each stitch around for a total of six rows and um, I'll meet you at the end of your six rows. Okay, we finished our sixth row and this last part is optional. I'm going to add um, floral wire to the very brim of my hat. Like I said, you do not need to use this. The hat is sturdy enough on its own. I got this from the Dollar Tree for only 99 cents and I'll show you how I'm going to attach it. All right, I already have mine stretched out. This one was, I believe, six feet long, so it was more than enough for the hat. All right, just like I would with um, any other type of yarn, I'm just going to work over the top of it. So, single crochet. Simple as that. Hold on, let me pull this out and bend it <laughs> so it doesn't come out as I'm crocheting. So single crochet over the wire all the way around and I'll meet you at the other side. So pause your video here. This can be a little difficult and tedious, but it makes the hat very cute when it's all done. So I'll meet you when you make it all the way to the other side. Okay, we've always almost made it back around, but I want to show you how I'm going over top of my ends. This is the very beginning of my row and I, well, beginning of this last row. And you can see this part is sticking up and this is the original part I am crocheting over. Now, within those last five stitches, I'm just going to crochet over both of those stitches. Like so. until I make it back to the other side almost there and last single crochet and you can slip stitch into the very next stitch and fasten off your work like I said this last row is completely optional Hey everybody, thanks for joining me on my weekly mini vlog that goes at the end of my patterns. 
What I'm going to show you today is how I take you through my pattern creating process. As you guys know, I come up with a brand new pattern every single week. It may seem easy, but it's actually a pretty tedious task in the list of the things I have to do. So I'll show you what I typically do first. For this week, I know I want to create a sun hat. So I'll go over to Google and all I do is I type in sun hat, click on images, and scroll through images and I click on something that catches my eye like this orange one I think this one's real pretty and I look at the orange one and I take a screenshot of the picture and this is what I'm gonna base my pattern on for the week as simple as that okay now that I figured out exactly what I want to make I'm gonna go search for the materials that I have in my craft room and see what can go perfectly with this pattern that I have stuck up in my head Okay, I found the perfect material for this craft in my craft room. It is floral wire. I got this from the Dollar Tree for only 99 cents. Make sure you go to the Dollar Tree if you guys have it, but unfortunately it's a U.S. store for anybody outside of the U.S. This um, wire measures about six feet and this will go perfect for the brim of the hat because it will give it that nice little sturdiness and movability so you can bend the hat to your styling. But unfortunately, it is red, so I'm gonna to have to look for a red yarn to mask the brightness of this. All right, so let's go into my craft room and look for some yarn to match this wire. Why does everybody's yarn stash looks like a beautiful wall of yarn? And here I am over here with big piles of yarn and half used skeins all over the place. If you're anything like me, comment down below and say, you guys are yarn fakers. Keep it real. I'm a yarn junkie. I hoard yarn. This ain't even a third of what I got. Yeah, some people have really nice yarn craft areas. Me, I just have a craft <laughs> slop. All right, I think I'm going to use my red heart yarn because that'll be perfect. It's a little bit stiffer. So I think that'll work well for a hat. I love that I can binge watch TV and crochet at the same time. Who said I can't multitask? Okay, so far I have the hat completely done. So now it's time for the unfun part, which is writing the PDF written pattern to go along with the free tutorial. So here it is so far. Writing a pattern for me has never been easy. I have all of my, uh, my calculator, my measuring tape ready. And once I get my pattern written out well, I'm gonna send it out to pattern testers and I'll be ready for the tutorial. The hard part is over to tutorial. Now all we have to do is the fun stuff. Take a picture for the thumbnail. I got my makeup on, no more all natural, complete makeup. All right, and I just gotta take my picture, edit my video, and send the pattern out to you and we'll be all done. I hope you guys like it. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching how my patterns are made.